This is it, our last chance. See, we got a strutter out here in the field. Shit. Yes! The walk off! <laughs> See, that ain't that far across there. I can hear a brother right here, right? Boom! Let's go! That is awesome, dude. Can't stop the clock. I've hunted with you before, Phil. It used to be me, the young whippersnapper. Right. That's why you don't quit. That's the right, there's another you turkey. Come running around this corner doing Mach 2. That's a spring thunder I had to the TV for. One more to go, one more to go. Oh <laughs> my God. Hey everybody, David Blanton here, and turkey season is just a few weeks away, and it's time to start organizing your turkey vest. And for me, when I pick up my turkey vest, I want to make sure I've got everything I could possibly need in a full day of turkey hunting. So I'm going to give you a little tour of my turkey vest. Of course, I'm using the Alps turkey vest and real tree timber, and the only ammo we shoot is the Federal, and this is Federal TSS number 9410. So the first pocket on my left here is tools that you wouldn't believe how often I use these. A pair of snips. Snips are important because if you're trying to quietly snip something as you set up on a turkey and you got a couple of things in your way, you can snip them very quietly, but also carry a saw if I'm going to build me a blind. I also have a knife. I always have knives everywhere on me just to make sure. This is where I keep my binoculars. These are the compact Bushnell Nitros 10 by 36s. They're smaller binocular, but they're perfect for turkey season. Next pocket over, always have extra little rope, parachute cord, always. Thermocell, not only do I keep a thermocell for all over the country, depending on the weather, but also have extra butane cartridges in here with it and the filters. Chalk, sandpaper to rough up my friction calls periodically to keep them sounding fresh. That's where I keep all that good stuff right there. So if we come over to this side of the vest, got my bone collector box call in there. In here I've got several slate calls This is, and glass call. There's a bone collector glass. Again, more sandpaper. I've got sandpaper located all over my turkey vest in just different places because in the heat of the battle, you may have to grab it quick. And here I have extra, always carry extra head nets and gloves. So you can never have too many gloves or head nets in your turkey vest. This is very important right here. When nature calls, I got my wipes in there. You, you always could use those. I've got three strikers in here. I've got more chalk. I've got a locator call. And in the back, my big back, I always carry a piece of real tree fabric in case I'm with someone like a kid or and, and we need a little extra cover for them. I got real tree fabric. And I also carry a piece of waterproof real tree fabric. I can throw this over a camera, I can throw this over me if it gets caught in a downpour. If I don't have a rain suit with me. But folks, that that pretty much is everything you could possibly need or want in the turkey woods. I hope that helps you a little bit on the turkey vest, what all I keep in mind. And if that doesn't get you fired up, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go with Philip Culpepper to Maryland where last year, late season, he had an awesome turkey hunt. We just thought we'd like to show it to you today. This is it, our last chance. We're about to head to me and Drake are taking off headed to Maine, and we're, we've been trying to find a turkey for two days for Dutch. This could be our best That's chance yet. Best. we got a strutter out here in the field. You can just see the top of this fan. We're going to go right to him. we got this wheat right here. We can probably crawl in there on it. We're going to have to crawl from here. You can lean out and see him right here. That all the jakes and hands are to the right.
keep noise here. Again. Yes! The walk off! Put your safety on. You got him in the grape that second shot. Look at the hooks on that joker. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the freaking wire. How many times have we said that before? <laughs> hey, hold on, that's a freaking like a dang ostrich. Good job. You was a huffing and a puffing on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Oh, gobbler knob that Mikey calls it. Man, freaking, it's like 97 degrees, it feels like, and it's not even 9 o'clock. It is humid. We ain't heard it. We come in here last night. Dutch had a plan all day yesterday. Came in here last night, got a turkey to gobble on this ridge, came back in here this morning, didn't say a word, had the hens going. We sat up on them for 30, 45 minutes. They didn't do nothing. And then we come in here, we were literally going to get the truck, trucks right over the hill and we came in here to check him. And here's Mikey, old guy of the year. He said, we gotta check Gobbler's knob. How about that, huh? Holy smokes. I don't, the hens, I don't, I mean, I think he saw the decoy at the last minute. I don't think we need him. The hens were coming to us. First time I started yelping, they just started walking to us. Good. Could you, Did you see, see the whole thing? Pretty much. I lost him when he got below this hill here. <sighs> Dude, I'm He's gassed. Within 50 yards, so. right, old, old Quigley here got the follow up. He kind of stunned him on the first one. And then he said, Get him again. And so, it was like a dang, like you saw him with a slug, that second shot. After I heard that second shot, I was Look like, at the oh, beard on that Joker. Dude, he's a good one. That's a big bird. That's the one, that's the one we was talking about the other day. He's missing a feather, ain't Yeah, he's right. missing a tail feather. Got a target. Old snaggle fan. <laughs> good first, job, buddy. First one in a while. Well, that was fun. Yeah, okay. gobbler's not. <laughs> Those spotting stuck right there, man. Dude, <laughs> yes, sir. Man, I'm gassed. I'm glad y'all cut it. Why we did what we did is because you listen to Mikey. Oh, God. The, you listen <laughs> to the chief. You always need to have it. Don't guide the guide. We've been going all over this place, and Mikey's like, we need to go to gobbler's knob. We need to go to gobbler's knob. I was like, Mikey. <laughs> I'm gobbled knobbed out. And we came out here and here he was strutting. I about fell out when I seen the strutter out here. Like, you got to be kidding me. Whew. That's it. We're done in Maryland. That's the walk off, last day of the season. We got a successful him. trip. Thank I you for shooting you. twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were right there in front of that tripod. Yeah, he was he was closer than he looked, really. Yeah. From over there. <laughs> Don't stop the flop, right? Yeah, he can't stop the flop. That's not going straight. He got some hooks on him. Another old turkey. Oh, he didn't break. They had two hands, but they got the yelping and were just steady coming. Was it a Jake with him too? Was there was three. There was three or three Jakes three with Jakes, him. Two hands. What a freaking way to end it, man! Last day of the season, and it feels like it's July. Yeah. <laughs>